It's day 16 out of 40 as we unlock the Bible, and today we start the New Testament. We're going to spend the rest of our time there, and we're in John chapter 1. We're going to take a look at what we call the prologue. It's about Jesus. It says, In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, when you read this, I want to make sure you understand that the Word is Jesus. The Greek word for word is logos, and they're talking about this concept that Jesus is the Word of God. And there's a rich concept there. We've got more stuff on that in our library. But I want to point this out to you. Look at how this compares to Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And I think it's interesting to read these two sections sort of side by side because there are so many parallels that you want to be aware of now that you're starting to unlock the Bible. Let's move on. It says that, Jesus came to his own people, even though they rejected him. And he's talking about the Jews here, the Jewish people. Jesus was Jewish. But then he says, but those who believed him and accepted him were given the right to become the children of God. And right here he's talking about the Jews and the Gentiles, the non-Jews. We're going to come back to this theme over and over and over again. He says later in verse 17, for the law was given through Moses, but God's unfailing love and faithfulness came through Jesus Christ. And I want to make sure that you understand this as we start reading the New Testament. This doesn't mean that the law is bad. The point is that it's just not the goal. You know, it's easy to get the sense reading the Old Testament that the point of religion or of Christianity is to keep the law. That's actually not the point. The point is to have a relationship with God, a life-transforming relationship. And when you have that relationship, then you can keep the law. So the law is not bad. It's just not the goal. The goal is relationship with God. And the way to get that relationship is through Jesus. And that's what we're going to learn as we continue to unlock the Bible together.